Assalamualaikum everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. So it's a winter break as we speak, and mid-year exams are over for most of you. And some of you have actually gotten your result. The others are probably still waiting. But the thing is, we all after the exam kind of have an idea of what to expect. Okay, so if you haven't done well in the exam, then this video is for you. Now, before I start, I'd like to announce that there are crash courses for O-Level and IGCSC Math and A-Level Math P3, along with M1, S1 classes that are starting from the second week of January. So if you want to sign up, you can do that directly from the website mathleadpaisar.com. And there are no new classes for Ad Maths and P1, but for P1, you can purchase the recordings of all the classes that started from August because we're done with the course now. And for Ad Maths, you can do the same, but from January onwards, we're doing all the important topics such as functions, trigonometry, differentiation, integration, kinematics. You can join the batch which started in August. And you can, if you want, you can also purchase all the recordings of the classes that we've had so far, starting from August. Once again, all can be done directly from the website and that's where you'll find all the details as well. Anyway, now let's get into the video. So mid-year exams, a lot of students don't do well in them and that's perfectly normal. You know, I've been, I've been teaching in, so I, I have been, I have taught in schools, so multiple schools in Karachi and I've seen this trend over and over. And even now, I see this happen with a lot of students. Some actually end up doing well, which is great, but majority of the students don't do well. And the reason behind that, there are plenty of reasons behind that. So let's talk about them one by one. And then I'll tell you what you can do to make sure that you do well in your mocks and also well in your CI exams. So if you're in grade 11, then I think the problem starts in grade 10. And the reason is that in grade 10, students are mainly focusing on the subjects that they have to appear for in the CIE exams, which is why they are not focusing so much on other subjects such as math. And uh, you know, if you're, a, if you're a science student, then physics, chemistry, bio, or accounting, economics, uh, business studies, depending on what your subjects are. So you're mainly focusing on Python studies, Tamiya, or whatever exam that you've decided that you have to give in grade 10. And that's the reason why most students suffer in grade 11, because if you look at the syllabus, if you look at the division of the syllabus, then majority of the important and majority of the topics that carry the most weightage are actually taught in grade 10 where students are not so serious about them and you know because they think that they have bigger fish to fry and uh, the majority of the schools there are no actually final exams other than the three subjects that their students are appearing for so students and teacher you know they just lose that motivation and uh, students then realize this in grade 11 when they appear for the media exam that whatever it is that is is to come in the mid-year exam was done in grade 10 and now they don't have a good grip of, over it and you know they're just they, they, they're just playing catch up and before they can actually catch up you have mid-year exams so that's one reason another reason is that all of the topics that are done in grade 11 actually make up a very small fraction of the syllabus and you know students tend to spend a lot of time to try and make sure that they understand them which doesn't give them the time to revise the whole syllabus which is what they're tested on in the mid-year exam so in school you know you're just doing like 30 percent of the syllabus and suddenly in the mid-year exam you have 100 percent of the syllabus that's kind of like a problem for students because they don't have enough time to do what's being taught in grade 11 and what has already been taught in the previous years. That's the reason why most of the students in grade 11 suffer in the mid-year exams. If you talk about A-level students, uh, starting with AS, I think the reason why students suffer in the exams uh, in A-levels is because the mindset isn't there. You know, they're thinking, they're treating it as O-levels and uh, students uh, tend to sometimes get overconfident. You know, they find it difficult to balance, especially if you're in college and you've signed up for a lot of extracurricular activities. Finding the right balance in is very difficult you know you want to take part in everything and at the same time you want to make sure you don't compromise your academics so that's one reason and as far as a2 students are concerned one reason why they mess up is you know some of them are giving retakes and uh, even the ones who are not giving retake also struggle to find that balance because you have SATs and you have university applications and all of that so there are a lot of reasons why students don't do well in media exams and you know majority of them are legitimate it's understandable but it doesn't have to be that way it doesn't it shouldn't be that way if you've messed up in mid-year exams you can still improve radically in your mocks and in your CIs like I said I've seen this happen over and over again and there are, there are lots of stories that I have of students messing up in mid-year exams and then eventually getting their desired grade in either mocks or CIs so now let's talk about what can be done to make sure that you get your desired grade 
So first of all, the one major change that you need to make is the change of mindset. Now, just because you've messed up in mid-year exams doesn't mean that that reflects your true potential. It just reflects the amount of effort that you were able to put into in the given period of time. And if you have if you were given more time and you know if you were able to if you were allowed to be more strategic with your academics with your time you would have done better so change get rid of that mindset that this is what i'm worth and i can't improve it's going to hold you down so the sooner you're able to change that mindset the sooner you're able to realize that you can actually do well in your mocks and in your cis the better it is and you will inshallah see this happen if you put in the right amount of effort. Secondly, if you're watching this during the winter break, then here's what I would suggest that take this time off. I'm sure you've earned it. But during this winter break, take some time to get your act together. By that, what I mean is that if after looking at the result, you think that you need extra help or you need think you need tuitions, then, you know, shortlist teachers that you're going to study from after the winter break, find out when their batches are starting, you know, register yourself. You don't have to study, but at least you can when when things when winter break resumes, you when basically Basically, winter break ends you can hit the ground running so get, gather all the resources you know whatever books that you might need whatever past papers that you might need whatever practice material that you might need print the syllabus yes get a hard copy of the syllabus print it out stick it wherever you think that you will be able to look at it every day and just keep things simple just cross out the topics that you have covered and that will allow you to keep track and like i said you have to hit the ground running so take this time utilize it and get your act together thirdly i would suggest do not waste your time trying to look for the perfect strategy this is something that i talk about every year because i get a lot of emails a lot of messages students asking me to you know figure out a strategy for them the answer is that there is no perfect strategy if a strategy applies to one student then you know it may not apply to the next student and that's how it is it's relative but here's what i would suggest okay here's what i would suggest keep it simple make sure that you first identify the time that you are going to study in okay it could be divided into let's say three parts like the morning the afternoon and the evening you know find out the times that you're most productive in and study during those times keep those times for the difficult subjects and before you do that even before you do that first thing you need to do is you need to identify what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are you know what your strong subjects are and what your weak subjects are and within those strong subjects you need to identify what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are and then stick to the 80 20 principle meaning that spend 80 percent of their time 80 percent of your effort focus on your weak areas and 20% on the your strengths so that you can retain them you can make sure that you hold on to them because if you don't then you know you'll probably forget and they too will turn into a weakness so keep this simple strategy don't make things complicated I've seen students waste weeks after weeks trying to find the perfect strategy and the truth is that it doesn't exist if it did exist it would be easily available but it's not available that tells us exactly why you shouldn't waste your time lastly remember that this is the final stretch now i've said this over and over again that whether you like it or not the single most deal breaker when it comes to getting into a good university are going to be your grades you know we can sit and talk about why that is not how it should be that should be a thing of the past but that's what the reality is majority of the students who are watching this right now will need their grades to move forward in life to unlock better opportunities yes after a certain point your grades become relevant but to unlock the next opportunity the next best opportunity the stage that you're in right now you need to have good grades okay so stop that crap that good grades don't matter yes after a certain point they won't and but right now they do play an important role so the the sooner you also change that mindset the better it is so in the next three four months just prioritize your academics i'm not saying that's how it should be throughout the year just in the next three four months prioritize your academics make sure that everything that you plan everything other than academics that you plan is done around your academics around your schedule which includes your classes your studying time make sure that you're taking care of your health also just because you're focused on one thing doesn't mean that you have to let go of something so essential as your health you know watch your diet watch your sleep get some exercise it's very important it's only going to help you prepare well for the exams okay you need a fully functioning brain you need a body which you can count on you shouldn't be falling sick over and over make sure that that part is also taken care of so yeah that's it and uh, once again i'd like to mention that crash courses of for o-level igcse math are starting and for a-level math 
Mat P3 and classes for M1, S1 are also starting. You'll find all the details on the website. AdMath students can also join the classes that are resuming from January because that's when we'll be covering all the important topics. And uh, A-level Mat P1 students can buy all the material that uh, buy basically uh, recordings of all the classes which includes all the other materials such as notes, worksheets, everything basically that we have done so far. Okay, so there will be plenty of content inshallah on YouTube. There will be plenty of live streams. So if that is sufficient for you, then great. But if you're one of those who wants that extra push, who wants to have that live interaction, who has a lot of queries and uh, doesn't, is unable to get those addressed through YouTube videos, then these classes are for you. Otherwise, if YouTube, like I said, if YouTube is sufficient, then you don't need to sign up for these classes. So that's it. I'll stop here. I'll see you guys inshallah in the next video. I hope you guys are being productive and making most of the time that you have left and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.